Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Twilight Oracle, a game that is really, really impressing me so far. Um, and we need to figure out what to do next, basically. Um, and when I was editing the last video, I was trying to remember what it was I did in the demo. I know that I definitely used the translator on something, and I was thinking that it was the... Um the squid over here on the far side, but when I think about it, maybe it was the lobster? Um, let's just try Let me try a joke on you. Why did the mermaid wear seashells? Because she outgrew her bee shells. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Um, but bee shells, uh, no? Sheesh, tough crowd. <laughs> All right, yeah, so oh, we've got an achievement for that cracker joke. So yeah, we can't- That doesn't require translating. So we don't need to translate that, which makes me think it must have been the lobster. Um, so let's go down to the chasm again. Because I think we do need to find a way past this lobster. I can't communicate with that. No, so it's not the lobster. The lobster's too feisty to pick up, and I don't want to lose a finger. Okay, can we... A clump of wax is a pretty pointless thing, when you think about it. Okay. It's sandpaper. How will it help here? It's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really struggling to remember. That won't help me get rid of the wax. What I did here. Um, that doesn't need to be smoothed. So something needs to be smoothed, and I Ooh, seem to remember. Deep dark abyss. I'm not going down there. I wouldn't be able to navigate it. I seem to remember there being like a stone or something. That I had to smooth down. I don't know if we can go. If there's like another way we can go through here. It's really weird. Maybe we have to smooth this down. It's sandpaper. How will it help here? Hmm. So this is in working order. We can't go past the squid at all, by the looks of things. Was there another area somewhere that I've not been to? I honestly don't remember. Um, I've got the vegetable patch. We've got. The... I'd rather starve than eat that for dinner. Got the big carrot. No. Okay. There's nothing else in the boat. I don't think. Can we like? It's sandpaper. How will it help here? I don't know. It's a good question. A clump of wax is a pretty pointless thing when you think about it. I definitely remember using the translator to communicate with something. And I can't think what it I was. I can't communicate with that. Can we... That won't help me get rid of the wax. So we need something to get rid of the wax, basically. It's sandpaper. Um, I, I don't know what that would be, short of the, the fire, but we can't seem to access this fire at all. Gross, Leo. Don't put that in the cauldron. It's our dinner cooking there. Oh, good idea. Oh, the small fire isn't strong enough to melt the wax. Okay, can we burn the sandpaper? That doesn't need to be smoothed. We can't. Is there anything else that we can burn? Doesn't look like we can go up there. A huge rose. Or one that's really close to the camera. Smells like what a million roses ought to smell like. Absolutely intoxicating. Okay. I hope this rose doesn't attract any giant bees. I don't want to get stung by a bee the size of a small bird. <laughs> Nobody wants that, I don't think. Uh, can we... It's sandpaper. How will it help here? Hmm. Okay, that's not... That's not helping us out at all. We can't no go into here. No way I'm going back in that creepy dank cave. There's bats in there. And uh, stuff. Yeah, bats and stuff. Um... There's no other the sea's way relatively to calm. Is there? Hmm. I think I see Marcus on the shore. I could follow the trail heading south to get there. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's going to help us out. Is there anything we can do with this hmm. slab? There's a little red drawing on the slab. A man? A frog? Uh, could be a starfish. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we had to, like, smooth that out or something. It's but... sandpaper. How will it help here? Okay, so we can go to the shore. Can we do anything with not this? Dinner. No, not dinner. Um, okay. It's got to be something to do with... I don't know, something down here, maybe? Have you seen Olivia? Nope. Thought she was with Jill. 
Where's the entrance to the sea now? There. Okay. Um, anything else? Can we... Starfish make for a great back scratcher. And frisbee. I'd rather not touch these though. They've been nibbled on. Right, okay. They've been nibbled on. Can we like grab... Oh, fish! If I had a fishing pole, I'd be reeling them in in no time. So we can't grab any of those. Um... I, I get the feeling there's something to do with this lobster, but I just can't remember what we did. The lobster's too to pick up, and I don't want to lose a finger. Okay. We must be missing an item somewhere or something. We can't go to the abyss, can we? Um, is there anything else in here? Let's see what else is in here. Nope, nothing. Nothing, okay. I'll have to come back to this world someday, with a crane. There's nothing in there. I, I genuinely can't remember what it was that I did. <laughs> it's so strange. Uh, is there anything around here? I'm not getting any closer to that gigantic thing. It's leaking red ink from its ink sacs. Oh, like it's ready to give me a good soaking. Okay, so it's leaking red ink. I mean, I don't... That won't help me get rid of the wax. Hmm, okay. So that's not going to help us get rid of the wax. Is, is there another screen? This is so weird. Like, I genuinely can't remember what to do. We get anything I already got else. a cabbage head. That's plenty of vegetables for a whole year. From now on, it's either pizza or death. <laughs> nice. Pizza or death, okay. I'd rather starve than eat that for dinner. Can't do anything with that. Um Starfish make for a great back scratcher. And frisbee. I'd rather not touch these though. They've been nibbled on. Okay, can't touch those, they've been nibbled on, so maybe there's one that hasn't been nibbled on? Which would make me think it would be the one up on the slab. I mean, can we... I found this thing coated in hard wax. What do you think's inside it? Treasure, if we're lucky. Uh, it's not heavy enough to be gold, and maybe a genie's lamp. What would you wish for? Oh, everyone knows the only thing to wish for is a thousand extra wishes. <laughs> Think your fire could, like, melt the wax? Ah, of course! Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Just a quick puff of flame. Completely forgot and about the go. fire. So, is it a genie's lamp? Nah, it's just a crusty old starfish. Ah, okay. Not too shabby, as far as souvenirs go. Fine, there we go. That's what I was forgetting. It's coming back to me now. Should have thought about that. We did have another source of fire. That's me really being silly, isn't it? Okay, down to the chasm. Let's see. Do you want this? Can I tempt you with some multicolored, radiant, juicy, delicious starfish? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. Man, you just went for it like it was hot fudge. <laughs> you seem all content now. Can we... Now that it's calmed down, I can pick up the lobster without it freaking out and wiggling. Nice. If everyone's hungry, I'm gonna chuck your plump belly straight into the pot. Hmm, you're too big to fit in my pocket. I'll just put you in the waistband of my pants. <laughs> Fine. Uh, no pinching now. I don't want to have to go for another circumcision. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. All right, is there anything else this way? There's not. Okay. Right, let's see if we can put this up into the pot then. Okay, to the cave entrance. You hungry? Gonna chuck this plump, succulent lobster in the pot. Don't you dare, Leo. Why not? It's dinner. It's way too cute to be dinner. Why don't you go find something else to stuff your fat belly with? <laughs> Fine. Fine, it's too cute to cook. All right, I think maybe the squid wants this. I think. Possibly. Let's see. There you go, boy. Fetch! Doesn't seem like the squid is all that interested in it. Oh, he's not interested in that. Hmm, okay. Uh, 
Well, this that doesn't yeah. require translating. No. Okay. So we've got the lobster. When toilet paper just isn't enough. Okay. Can we? That doesn't need to be smoothed. No. Okay. Did we try using the sandpaper on that altar thing back there, or the boat? It's sandpaper. How will it help here? Can't remember. Um. Yeah, I can't remember if we. Did we try it's this? It's sandpaper. How will it help here? Nope. Okay. Have you seen Olivia? Nope. Thought she was with Jill. Uh, can we show him this? Oh, what happened there? Misclicked. The lobster is sleeping contentedly in my, well, pants. I'd rather not disturb it without a good reason. Okay, so we can't disturb it. That doesn't need to be smoothed. I mean, could though, right? Let's see if Jill's got anything to say about this say, lobster. Say, could you probe this lobster's mind? Suppose I could give it a try. Poor thing. It's been cooped up in a dark, tight place. Has it? In a cramped place that smelled funny. Uh, hey, <laughs> I don't have B.O. There's an underwater abyss it's been living in. Does it know how ah. to navigate it? There are three narrow tunnels. Two lead nowhere, but the bottommost one will lead you out of the abyss. Thanks, that's helpful. Are you going to dive into that abyss? Sure. sure. I have to discover what's on the other side. Could be our renegade dude. Be careful, Leo. That sounds dangerous. Oh, I knew you cared. <sighs> but really, it's uh, nothing to worry about. I've done that sort of thing before many times. If it seems like you're losing your way, head straight back, you hear? Okay, fine, we can. All right, well, the lobster's done its job, which was to tell us the way to go from here, I guess. All right, time to be brave. Dive into the vast and mysterious void. I'll either never surface or... Find the person we're after, become a champion, have babies named after me, and have everyone adore me. <laughs> oh, especially Jill. Sugar nuts over me. Okay, time to do this thing. That thing totally just spoke. Ah, uh, this mm. is... It's quiet now. This is... Uh, hello? Is, is there anyone there? This is what I remember it's using not the... not communicating anymore. ...the translator on. Hmm, a remnant of a sunken temple. I remembered using the translator on something. It's sandpaper. I thought it might want to be smoothed down. It's a pumice rock here. Mm, there's a funny looking rock entangled in the seaweed. Okay. <sighs> I can't seem to get it disentangled. Can we... That doesn't need to be smoothed. Right, so we need to find a way to get this out of here. Okay, right, let's use the translator. Mm, there's a funny looking rock entangled in the seaweed. So you just can't... I can't seem to get it disentangled. Right, we're going to need something to help us with that, then. Uh, let's see if this old piece of junk works. Leo. Ooh. Hey, you know my name? Hey, heed, Leo. You've been lied to by the magistrates and used for their own gain. Lied to? You mean, I haven't really uh, flunked math or English or chemistry or literature or... <laughs> no, no. Unfortunately, all of that is true. Of course. You really are a straight F student. <laughs> ah, bummer. You had me hoping there for a second. I am the one they sent you to find and capture. Oh. Ah, then my quest is almost complete. Prepare to be defeated. Leo, I'm not a threat to you. Hmm, you could just be saying that to get me to lower my guard. If you're not really a threat, why would the magistrates bother with you? I am the guardian of the one true oracle. Long ago, I was powerful enough to stand against the magistrates who covered the oracle's ancient relic. Their minds are warped by greed. You mustn't let them get a hold of the relics. So they are greedy. What do I care? You'd allow untold power fall into the hands of the wicked. See, from where I'm standing, my options are either to report your whereabouts and become the hero of our time, loved by all, and the center of attention for many adoring girls, all fighting for my affection. Very deluded. Or defy the magistrates and protect you and your toys. But then, my friends and I are banished and get none of the fame. You see, this quest is everything to me. It's everything I have going for me. My grades are complete trash and will get me nowhere in life. Hmm... What will happen to you personally if I turn you in? Once they've extracted all the knowledge they seek, they'll dispose of me. Disposed? Uh, that of course means... Death. Right. Uh, a bit harsh. Very harsh. I suppose I've always known the magistrates were up to no good. 
bunch of goons pushing you around and treating you like dirt all the time, like you're beneath them. Oh, I'd hate to be their pawn. Assuming you're not a renegade maniac, <laughs> what do I do to stop the magistrates? The diviner in the pool holds the answers. To reach her, find the true gem and return it to its cradle. The true gem? Where would I find that? Complete the ancient drawing of a butterfly, then you will obtain the true gem. When you have restored it to its cradle, the ritual will begin and the truth will show itself. Alright, uh, I'll give it a shot. If only because I'd hate to be taken for a fool, especially by the magistrates. Thank you, Leo. You possess more bravery and a stronger sense of justice than you realize. Yeah, yeah. I'm a regular hero. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be off to find this gem and do this ritual thing. Later. Alright, we've got to find this gem and do the ritual thing. Complete the ancient drawing of a butterfly. Find the true gem, then start the ritual by returning it to its cradle. All right, we can do that, but we're going to do that in the next one because we're out of time. So we got there in the end. Um, my memory, obviously, of almost a year ago is very, very sketchy because I could remember bits of what to do, but not all of it. But we did it. So uh, we'll carry on in the next one. I'm really enjoying this so far. The, the, the game itself is just absolutely stunning, isn't it? I just really, really like what I'm seeing so far. Um, so that does it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Jonathan Conley, and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time.